chairman was full of magic, and chairman was full of logic. As a leader, he taught me the art of business. And we had a dinner here in the church to raise funds for that prayer meeting in Uhuru Park. And I remember when I stood to speak, uh, the late Chris Kirubi asked me how much money we needed for the event in Uhuru Park. And when I gave him the figure, he said that he was going to pay the entire amount and that now dinner should be served. Chris was a giver. For the five years that I read the budget of this country as Minister for Finance, one of the key people that you would have to seek advice from so that you know whether you are getting it right or not was Chris Kirubi. He would always be there to advise so that the policies and the direction you take would make sense to business and to the country and to the economy. We have reason to celebrate Chris as one of our main captains of industry. But yet, not a die-hard capitalist, in fact, he's what I would call a coarse capitalist, a social capitalist. Because now this issue of how do we form the Grand Coalition government, how do we share the portfolios within the Grand Coalition government, there's a stalemate, almost a breakdown. And uh, the two people who came to approach me to agree to a compromise, one of them was Chris Kirubi. The other one I will not go mention here. But Chris came and passionately pleaded with me to agree at least to have a dialogue with Kibaki at that time. He was so passionate, and because of the old time's sake, I said, well, I'm ready. <laughs>